Now, as usual, I will be talking about this episode in great details with spoilers and all. So, if you haven't seen the episode yet and don't want it spoiled for you, don't watch this video. However, if you have seen the episode or simply don't care about spoilers, then keep on watching. You have been warned. So the plot of this episode goes basically something like this. After seeing that who would you and Louie have small business selling lemonade, Scrooge McDuck wonders how successful they will be in the future. So Mea Chica, in disguise, sends Scrooge McDuck to the future. 40 years in the future to be exact. Now, I am going to start by talking about the future of Duckburg. This episode was made in 1987 and even though that was a long time ago i can't tell whether or not this episode is accurate to the future since it's still over a decade until 2027 arrives But regardless, I will tell you what I think of the future Duckburg and how some of the characters have changed. I'm going to start by talking about who would you want Louie. You know, it is very great to see those three as adults. Because this is the only time I can record seeing who would you want to do as adults. When they sub Scrooge McDuck in the future, they didn't recognize him at first. But I will be talking about that later in the review. Next thing I'm going to talk about is Cairo Girlus. Unfortunately, he isn't doing so well in the future. In fact, he is an old man who apparently has amnesia. When Scrooge McDuck visits him, he doesn't remember Scrooge at all. In fact, Gerald Girlus is no longer a genius. He's a dumb old man who doesn't know what to do or say. Thankfully, it's different about Lance but Macqua. In the future, Lance Pat teaches in school about crosses. Now, usually, Magic at this spell fails to steal Scrooge McDuck's time. While she does manage to do that, quite a lot in other episodes as well as the Donald Duck comics. Which makes sense since Mechica is an evil bitch. Of course, like usual, Scrooge manages to get his time back by the end of the episode, but still, Magica managed to keep it for 40 fucking years. Now it's time to talk about some of the negatives I hear about the episode. First of all, this is an episode 
where the future has robots included. That is so fucking generic. In almost every movie, every TV show, every TV episode and so on that takes place in the future, there is a fucking robot. So that's not original in the slightest. In fact, it's been overdone to death. Another issue that I hear with the episode is something that I didn't quite understand. When Scrooge McDuck was in the future, who would you and Louie didn't recognize him at first. I guess it makes sense since they haven't seen him for 40 years. But here's the thing that I don't understand. Later in the episode, they suddenly stop working for Magic of Dispel and try to stop her when she is after Scrooge McDuck. They remember Scrooge McDuck when Magica mentioned his name. If they remember Scrooge's name, surely they must have also remembered how he looks like. This is just confusing and I don't understand it at all. And those two things are about the only negatives I can think about for the episode. Now I want to talk about the present day. Only the beginning and the end of the episode takes place in the present time. To which you and Louis are apparently selling lemonade. But apparently their lemonades fucking suck because by the end of the episode the customers want refund.